Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, America. This is Cindy from Nets of Hope. Um, I do have information at the top of my uh, YouTube channel as to how you could contact me, but please be patient. And I could get overwhelmed. I don't know. I don't do emails. And your information of wanting to talk to me needs to be very important, 911 important. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to have time to talk to you. If you are in need of counseling and need to be saved, those people I will talk to first. And the Lord will show me um, those that are uh, being serious. Anyway, um, let me read Psalms 91. God is showing us here that a thousand will fall dead to your left side and 10,000 will fall dead to your right side. That number total equals 11. 11 is the number for destruction in the Bible concordance. Let me begin to read. I only have so much time and I've got to travel like lightning to get to work. Psalms 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. Let me tell you, the snare of the trapper is the devil himself. He wants to trap you in your sins, your addictions, your alcohol, your masturbation, your adultery, your homosexuality, your lesbianism, your gayism, everything that you want to do that is not of God's good works, God's good righteousness, is sin. And the devil will so trap you in that to where you won't want to get out of it. You'll just fall in love with it. But one day, it'll catch up with you where it won't satisfy you no more. Okay? So, um, he will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings... You may seek refuge, God. You may seek refuge in God. His faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night or of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness. And by the way, pestilence is viruses and diseases and plagues uh, and uh, the multiplying miracles of the Lord Jesus Christ from the book of Exodus like flies, frogs, uh, water filled up with blood, uh, that is also uh, a plague and a pestilence. Gnats is a pestilence. Anyway, so that way you'll have a picture. Or of the destruction that lays by waste noon. Okay, pay attention to waste noon. The Lord has done lots of things right at 12 noon and before in the past. And he doesn't change. He continues to do things a lot for his reasoning at certain times of the day. Here we go. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand. But it shall not approach you, those of you that are Christians and you are the true bride of Christ and you follow the Lord and you spend time with him every day you won't have it approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. There will be many wicked dead, but there are going to be some that are righteous, that are just older, uh, and they are going to pass away. They're going to go on to heaven. God's going to get rid of a lot of people so that they do not have to endure the things that are coming. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. Make God your dwelling place, guys. Get saved. I have videos on my channel. It's called Hope and Salvation Talk Show. I've only got two so far, but they're powerful enough to save you if you just listen to them intently and then let me counsel you by phone. I can help you. Number 10, verse number 10. No evil will befall you, nor any plague come near your tent. The Lord will cover those that are righteous and keep their relationship with him and do what pleases him. 
For he will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands, that you do not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon a, the lion and cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample down. Now then, here it is because of your love for him. Because he has loved me, therefore I will deliver him. That's a promise. I will set him securely on high. That's why you need to get saved. Because he has known my name. Are we perfect as Christians? No, we're not. We're sinners just like you. But we have the grace and the gift of God's salvation that we've accepted. And now we can plead the blood of Jesus and ask for forgiveness of our sins, whether you curse whether you slip back into masturbation or whatever it is, you can turn your life around. That's what Romans 8, 28 means. That's what the Holy Spirit showed me. Your life can be turned around every day. You're without grace and mercy at this time period. I believe until Yellowstone blows, then the door of grace is shut. Then you got to live according to the law of God. Okay, and that's mostly for the Jews. Okay, so verse 15, he will call upon me and I will answer him. Don't you want a God that answers you, that helps you, that loves on you? Especially those that are just to go undergo destruction over in the eclipse fault line area. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. God's about honoring his sons and daughters. With a long life and satisfy him. I will let him see my salvation. Please go to my channel. Check out the hope and salvation videos if you're not saved. Especially those that are in the destruction path of the fault line of the New Mandarin fault line. And you're in the path of the Mississippi River. It will jump out of its banks with these mega earthquakes. It'll go 100 plus miles to the left as it has a mega earthquake again and the earth totters, it will roll back into the Mississippi River, taking all the dead, taking alive with it. And then it will jump back out of its banks. It will roll to the right-hand side of America, 100 plus miles. And then all of the dead will be in that. And those that are alive, if they can stand when the water is rushing and rolling towards you, there will be thousands of thousands that will make it out of there. But while this, the, the rescue is going to be days and hours long, those that do make it. But I hope and pray that everyone that listens to this video, if you don't have Facebook and you've got intelligence to do one, get it started. Advertise these videos. Reach out to your family and friends. Build your Facebook. Spread the rumors like wildfire that these people that live in Arkansas, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Illinois will get the word and get out of there and take their finest possessions, especially their checking account, their, their um, identity. Otherwise, once the waters go across the banks, it's going to shut down their cars, their life, their food supply, fresh water, electricity, cell phones are going to be lost in the water and possibly family members in deep grief as you try and stand up and continue to press on. We don't want that for any of those Americans, do we, brothers and sisters? Let's pray. I've got to go. I'll be praying. I ask that you be praying. I love you. Peace out for now.